All right, here's the deal, perfectly honest. I'm so excited to be back. I'm a little nervous because I haven't been in front of the camera in a while. And this is the big finale to something we spent a lot of time on. So I don't make these for money. I make these because I love making them. I think we all do. Um, I make them for myself. I make them for family and friends. I make them for the crew that's with me, which are also my family and friends. And I make them for you. If you're a subscriber, if not, you should subscribe right now. It's not that hard. Just click a button, not a big deal. I'm sorry it took so long to get back. If any of you that know me know that I've just been like smacked right in the face with life lately. Cole had this edit done a while back. I just needed to do some intros, talk about some stuff a little bit, and then just put it out into the world. Thank you guys for sticking around. And this is technically Cole's edit. I'm gonna try to chime in as little as possible. So the time had finally come. It was time to get down to business. To make a shot or not. Hit it! That's what I'm talking about. I've heard the stories of production day, Rob. The they are true. Right I'm moving. Oh, did you? My question is, where's your camera? In the car. And. Thank you. All right, so we're heading out here for the actual film day. A uh, few things have already gone wrong. Uh, we don't have Keegan to do B-roll, so now Tanya has to do it. Uh, she has no idea what she's doing, so excuse any bad B-roll. We already know that Brennan kind of sucks at it, so we really, Keegan was my key person on this. Anyway, um, so far though, other than that, things are going decently smoothly. We're about 20 minutes behind schedule. Uh, people didn't show up when they were supposed to. Uh, Cole can't back a van, so there's that. And so we had to kind of run around the van, which cost us some time. Uh, but other than that, looks like it's gonna go down. I think we've got everything figured out this time. If we can just get there anytime soon, it would sure help. I'd hope, I was hoping to start with plenty of daylight. For whatever reason, we're running out of daylight uh, very quickly. Uh, Keegan pulled out thorns in her shoes last time that were probably three inches long. Um, I really don't want anybody to get hurt out here, so I want to try to get out here and scope the place early enough so that we can clear any debris, make sure that we're, uh, we're going to try to hide the equipment and generators, make sure that we're in the brush, there's no snakes out there. Uh, we, we just Basically, just to be safe, we need to do it in daylight. Okay, so now there's a clip on the bottom. If you push it down, it'll slip. No, on the bottom. Okay, never mind. What get that straightened out quite all the way. Oh. Off she comes. This time, before we go out there, we have to make a couple of changes. As some of our viewers may have noticed, if they had a good eye in the shot, which was completely, I was completely oblivious to, and Rob was too. We noticed during the practice footage when we were looking at the real shot that there was actually a tilt up in the final seconds of the shot, so we hadn't prepared for that. So that was a last second change that we then had to prepare for, which mean we had to switch out tripods too because the tripod that we had couldn't hold up the cinema lens in a movement like that. So we needed a heavier duty tripod to make the shot happen. But I practiced with it and I feel very confident in my abilities to use it. Yeah. What was that? I don't know. Is it a cougar? It fell out of the tree, so it's a possibility. That was not me throwing rocks this time. I know, that was large. <coughs> Jonathan, are you the bug killer? He's our all around guy. He's just what he is. I had a two by six. Four, easy now, easy. What? Is it cold? Uh, yeah, no. Hit my, hey, get my other leg. I'm you trying. You're walking around. Uh, yeah, I think we're going to use a different uh, does it take? deflector this time. 
I think we're using one of those. Oh, okay. oh yeah. We're gonna, we're gonna try them out here in a little bit. Yeah, there's. They said that last time it left a halo with that one. Yeah. So they decided to do something softer. So we just brought a bunch of different ones and just try them out and see what works. Oh, okay. Chokes that way. Okay. And then you pull the rope. I did it! Did you get that? Alright, good. We'll add it in. This seems to be going suspiciously smooth. Because it looks as if we have a lighting setup, we have a generator setup, we have our fog machine setup, presumably, and we have the camera getting set up at the moment when we are not even in sunset. Um, so it looks like it's going to go somewhat smoothly, but that can easily change because filmmaking is a very fickle creature. <laughs> Oh, it's pretty cool that the guys included me in on this and got to kind of be the center of attention. I don't normally like that, but I guess you have to do what you got to do. But I do get to sweat in all the clothing here in just a minute, so not really looking forward to that. It's the price you pay. You know, he wasn't my first choice. Usually when I cast uh, a movie, I usually, my first choices are either, you know, Brad Pitt. <laughs> Our American treasure, Zac Efron. But um, Staley was available and he did great filling in for those guys. I believe, technically, it's 280% humidity. I think it's actually closer to 90, but it, it feels hot. I like how there's no wind. No, handy. I mean, it sucks when you're sitting in this swamp, but... Yeah, but you're, you're used to that. Yeah, I'm used to the swamp, apparently. So I'm sure I But anyway... Right now, how you feeling? I'm, I'm Shot pretty, or not? I'm, I'm pretty nervous. I, uh, I've been stewing about it all day. I gotta go with shot, Robbie. Okay. I'm going shot too. I think we're gonna get it. Going shot. Shot! My biggest thing here now is I can't see what's in focus or not, so I, do you think I just need to put it in ultra focus or what, Todd? Uh. So, uh, you know, I think you're. I think probably the best thing to do is have him stand where he's gonna end up at. Yeah. And focus on him. Focus then, on the in shot, the in part? Yes. Yeah. Hey, Staley, can I have you uh, stand on this? I think the tracks good, look good. Yeah, they yeah. do look real the tracks good. tracks look good. I took that tape off on the, because that last mm -hmm. time you said, and then we, we looked at it with the filter on it, and mm -hmm. we said that those white boards, we liked them showing up, so we just painted. Just the ones on the bottom, yeah. Yeah, we just painted the insides of it to make that look darker. Yeah, I mean, I know it's tough, but if you can push some more across the road so it's on the other side too, What's up? So same thing like uh, last time. Uh, as soon as he steps up on that box a little bit, just turn it up just a little bit. Yeah, I'm going from 7 to 78. Good deal. Hey, uh, Staley, it's in your other hand. Left hand. Sorry. There you go. All right. Oh, you had your back towards us. Yeah. Never mind. Redo. <laughs> I can't I can't see you face forward or backwards from uh, back you here. Him that up, right? no. Yeah. Yeah. We rolling. Action. Most of what I was doing that night was trying to perfect my tilt because I knew that I hadn't um been prepared for that but I like I said earlier I practiced but I just wanted to make sure I got it 100% correct because I really really wanted this shot to work out after all the work we put into it and everything that went into it I just really really wanted this shot to work out so that tilt was very important to me but I think I got it very well so basically the deal of this entire shot is that Donovan and I are carrying everyone else right now 
and uh, then Staley's probably next. But other than that, they couldn't do without us. So yeah, I don't know. I feel like I feel like Staley's probably number one, and we're at two and three. I don't know. He's performed that that move pretty much flawless every single time. Props to Staley. We had uh, Donovan and Rob and uh, out there fanning the fog with uh, foam core boards and different things to make the fog rise up. But uh, I think the fog was one of the main one of the main keys to uh, making the shot look uh, really really good. I'm not. I go longer than Donovan does usually every time. It's endurance. Uh, about fourth and fifth take. Uh, it is going perfect. The fog is everywhere it needs to be. Staley's doing an awesome job on the, the walk up. And about the time he gets up there to step on the box. Uh, Action! Well, <laughs> cut. What's up? Is everything all good down there, Kieran? <laughs> Explain your your uh, situation. I accidentally pressed the effect button and I don't know how to turn it off. <laughs> 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 I think I got it. Nope. Say, because I was moving it all the way up and I actually pressed this corner button right here. Yeah, I don't know what that does. Never, never did it. This thing? What are we talking about? What are we hit? This thing. Man, I, I have this wonderful ability to take a very easy task and just kind of find a way to make it irreversibly like a uh, just difficult. I had one job on the set and that was just to turn a dial about five degrees and let that light, light temperature grow up. But somehow, uh, I can't remember what exactly I was doing. I think I might have just been trying to get the dial back and I pressed an extra button. Settings went haywire. It just, <laughs> the dial that we were using, it, I tried to press every single button on planet Earth and it was just so bright. That looks right right there. Okay. Okay, reset everybody. It's cool. That I didn't even know it had like explosions and stuff. I'm gonna have to try that at home. I'm out. Good. Good. Action. I think we're all done. <laughs> <laughs> well, we didn't get that one, unfortunately. That might have been our best one. Well, we better have it. We shouldn't have left it running earlier. Of course, um, I think it was it Karen that was supposed to be doing the generator. I don't know, but. Man, I'd say that really just for like any given day, it set this went pretty well. I mean, I can't really think of anything that went wrong. We were, we were cussing at somebody. We ran out of power before uh, we were done with the shoot, but that's okay because we got a lot, a lot of good shots in there and I'm excited to take a look. When we were done, I don't know, we had, we did, we did several takes, six, eight, 10 takes, and I was pretty confident that uh, we got uh, something really nice. My first time using this tripod, so if I mess it up, Rob will be pissed. I think it went pretty well. I'm uh, hoping that those shots are gonna, that, that shot's gonna come together real nice in post, and post. Uh, we can have a legendary new item on the on the YouTube channel. It went good. It went good. It was warm, but uh, we pulled through. Specifically, it was fun. A lot of fun. The van was definitely handy. When editing this shot to get it as close to the original as possible, we had to you know do some color correcting and stuff like that. Um, me and Rob chose the 310 to Yuma profile that we had. Um, it's not the exact color profile of the assassination of Jesse James, but it looks really, really similar and we're very, very happy with what we got. I think it was definitely a shot. I, I think we nailed it pretty dang close. You know, anybody that 
knows even a little bit about movie production, realizes how much uh, a big production for you know any kind of movie, uh, even low budget ones are you know way above uh, what we can afford to do. We really had nothing but some time and maybe a little bit of, of gas into it. So uh, I think what for what uh, for how cheap we were able to do it, I definitely think it was a shot. I think it. I think y'all will be very impressed with how close it is to the original. Uh, we got a bunch of really good shots, like a bunch of really good shots, but that's kind of the uh, challenge of shot or not, is you can have a good shot, but the goal is to max the shot as much as possible. I honestly think that this is a shot. Man, I gotta say, between Staley, fake train tracks, and just Texas heat, I'd say it's a shot. I do not think that I am anywhere near the capabilities of Roger Deakins, but I definitely think that we have a good shot in our hands. I definitely want to thank all my crew. I could not have done this without them. They were all great, and I am very appreciative of the work they put into this and the work they're going to put in going forward. We have a good team. Everything's going to work out. Shot or not, it's got a bright future. Oh man, that's a really good picture of the crew. Wow, it looks nice. Seems like there's somebody missing. Hmm. Hey Cole, did uh, did you invite Zach? Who's Zach? I don't know. <laughs> oh! Man, I don't know why I'd be mad. People forget about me all the time. I'm fine. If you liked what you saw here, please let me know in the comments below. Uh, if there's a channel or someone tied to this in any way, shape, or form, it'll be in the description below. And I hope you enjoyed. And until next time, I don't know what's coming up next. Studio's almost done. So ready for some random things? I have no idea where I'm going with this channel at this point in time. I just know that I love making videos, I love entertaining, and I love being entertained. And so until next time, see ya.